I'm George Laboda, and you're watching Mark Levinson Reveals. Let's make some cocktails. On this episode of Mark Levinson Reveals, I'm going to make three classic cocktails that correspond with three different genres of music, and I'm going to reveal some very simple and easy tips that can take your cocktails to the next level. About a year ago, I attended an event with Mark Levinson, and there was some beautiful craft cocktails, a six-course meal, and it was just exquisite. So today, I'm going to try to recreate some of that magic and show you guys how to make three classic cocktails at home. Up first, the Old Fashioned. In my opinion, the Old Fashioned is one of the most classic cocktails out there, and I think one of the oldest recipes on record. So today, this is going to be perfect if you're listening to classical music or even just the classics in general, because the Old Fashioned is a classic. So let's make this cocktail. So what you want to do is you want to grab your aromatic bitters, you want to add four dashes, and when I say dashes, you want to make sure they are big dashes. Do not make them just little drops because this is like the spice cabinet of your liquor shelf. So you know you want to add the flavor with some bitters there. So four dashes of aromatic bitters, two dashes of orange bitters, and then you want to grab your simple syrup or you can muddle a sugar cube if you like. I like simple syrup because I think it makes a more even and balanced cocktail. And then you can do half ounce of simple syrup. Pour that in. And then you want to grab two ounces of your favorite whiskey. So any bourbon, rye, whatever you like. Two ounces of that and then you're ready to stir. When you're stirring your cocktail, you want to stir until your hand is pretty much too cold to hold on to the glass because the whole point of stirring your cocktail is to dilute the cocktail and add a little bit of water to the cocktail to make it a more balanced and even taste throughout the drink. So stir for about, I'd say 20 to 30 seconds is a good amount. And then once your hand feels nice and chilled, you are ready to pour into a glass over a big ice cube. So to serve your old fashioned, I like to take a big rocks glass and then put one big ice cube in there and then strain your cocktail from your mixing glass over some fresh ice. Because if you use these smaller ice cubes, your drink will get watered down a lot faster than you'd like. And by the time you're done drinking it, it will taste very watery. Last but not least, you want to garnish your cocktail. So I like to do a lemon peel, express the oils over the top, rub the lemon up the side so when your guests pick up their drink, they still get a little essence of lemon on their fingers. Very, very nice touch. And then you want to express an orange peel over the top of the glass. Throw that in there. And last but not least, I like to garnish with a cherry. Now, these cherries are very specific. You can find them in your like nicer liquor stores, but these are definitely different in color and taste than your bright red maraschino cherries. So if you can find a bottle of these, highly recommend picking them up. And that right there is your classic old fashioned. So throw on some classical music or just the classics in general and enjoy. So now if you're more of a jazz listener, I think this cocktail is gonna be perfect for you because like jazz, it is super smooth and you can improvise a little bit if you don't have the exact ingredients at home. So today we're gonna to make a whiskey sour. So for a proper whiskey sour, you're going to need an egg specifically the egg white. This is what's gonna make the whiskey sour very, very smooth and give it that frothy kind of smooth texture. Be very careful not to break the yolk, but that is also why you put the egg white in first. So once you have your egg white in the cocktail shaker, you wanna add one ounce of lemon juice and then three quarter ounces of simple syrup. And then you want to add two ounces of your favorite whiskey. I like bourbon in my whiskey sours. Now this next step is also the key to a proper whiskey sour, is to shake the cocktail with no ice in it. So this will really develop the foam and the froth and make it as smooth as it can possibly be. Now with the egg white, you do want to be very, very careful when you're shaking it because the egg white will kind of expand and add pressure to your cocktail shaker. So hold it tight because it could pop off or you know explode a little bit, so be careful. So once you've dry shaken your cocktail, I like to add just one giant ice cube to keep the foam intact. And then just kind of roll the cocktail around so it gets chilled, but you still don't lose the foam in the cocktail. As you can tell guys, the foam is a very important part 
of making this the smooth, jazzy cocktail that it is. Now, when I said you could improvise, if you don't have simple syrup at home, you could use honey, you could use maple syrup. Um, if you want to add like a few raspberries to it or strawberries or blueberries to change the flavor a little bit, you know, you can play around and make it your own. But this is the basic recipe to start from and you can do what you like on top of that. So once you finish rolling the cocktail around, you want to grab your Hawthorne strainer and then a fine strainer to double strain the little ice chips out of there. And as you can see, you have a nice, beautiful, foamy cocktail. And last but not least, to garnish a whiskey sour, I like to add a couple drops of bitters on top. And then grab a toothpick and make a little kind of latte art on top of that. And last but not least, to finish off the whiskey sour, you want to take a lemon peel and a nice cherry. Lay that right on the edge as a garnish. And that right there is your smooth jazz whiskey sour. Enjoy. And last but not least, this one is a little bit funky, so for you funk fans out there, this is called the Boulevardier. Now, I do call this one funky because sweet vermouth is a fortified wine and Campari is more of an herbal liqueur, so you get kind of that earthy herbalness in there, which kind of brings a little bit of funk and bitterness, which is definitely a switch up from your more sweeter cocktails. So if you don't like sweet too much, I highly recommend trying one of these. So you want one ounce of sweet vermouth, now the key to making cocktails is to always put in your cheaper ingredients first. So if you mess up, you don't feel bad wasting the more expensive ingredients. One ounce of Campari, and then one ounce of your favorite whiskey. And like your old fashioned, you wanna stir until your hand gets cold to properly dilute the cocktail. So an easy tip when you're trying to stir your cocktail is to try to keep the spoon along the outside of the glass because the more you try to stir, like you're gonna mess up all the ice and it's gonna make it a lot harder. So the more ice you have, the easier it's gonna to be to stir and then try to keep your spoon along the outside instead of trying to force the spoon to turn, just let it do the work for you. You wanna grab another rocks glass, throw one giant ice cube in there and then strain your Boulevardier over one big ice cube. Garnish with an orange peel and that right there is the Boulevardier. So that wraps up our segment of Mark Levinson Reveals. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the jazz, the classics, and the funk. Um, comment down below which cocktail was your favorite, and I hope to see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.